U.S. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle has resigned after her agency came under intense scrutiny for failing to prevent an assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. That's according to the White House on Tuesday. It is my firm belief, Director Cheadle, that you should resign. It comes after Cheadle faced bipartisan condemnation before the House of Representatives Oversight Committee on Monday where she declined to answer questions from frustrated lawmakers about the security plan for the rally and how law enforcement responded to the suspicious behavior of the gunman. I don't want to add to the director's uh, terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, um, but I, I will be joining the chairman in uh, calling for the resignation of the director just because I think that the, this relationship is... Um, irretrievable at this point. President Joe Biden said in a statement that the independent review of July 13th would continue and that he would appoint a successor soon. The agency did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Representative James Comer, chair of the House Oversight Committee, said in a statement, while Director Cheadle's resignation is a step toward accountability, we need a full review of how these security failures happened so that we can prevent them going forward. A would-be assassin wounded Trump during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, July 13th, after firing shots from a nearby roof. The shooter was killed by police after he killed one person and injured two others in addition to Trump. The Secret Service's solemn mission is to protect our nation's leaders. On July 13th, we failed. As a director of the United States Secret Service, I take full responsibility for any security lapse of our agency. We are fully cooperating with ongoing investigations. Our mission is not political. It is literally a matter of life and death. And the tragic events on July 13th remind us of that. I haven't seen the inside yet, but I'm sure there's more. That's what they've said, that there's more security here than there has been in the past. So, you know, it's, uh, it's just something you expect. I would hope, you know, they should have had more uh, security last week. When I got here today and saw drones up and more Titan security and everybody doing their job and after a while, nobody's allowed out of the gates in the perimeter. They got to walk all the way. A lot different, more tight security. It was good to see that. Go 
Well, I don't know. I haven't seen the inside yet, but I'm sure there's more. That's what they've said, that there's more security here than there has been in the past. So, you know, it's, uh, it's just something you expect. I would hope, you know, they should have had more uh, security last week, as we all know, we all talked about. So, you can expect it. I feel so compelled to go, especially after the shooting, even more than before, because of what happened to him. I want him to see that we still support him. We're still going to come out to these rallies. There's nothing you're going to do that's going to break our spirit. This is our president. This is who we want in there. This is who's going to fix the country. And this is what we have to do. We still have to show that support. We still have to be there. We still have to come out for him. This way for you. So there's right when President Trump was driving. It. We were watching it live. Yeah, they were watching it live. Yeah. So um, I didn't know what it was that you know kept me a little bit different or a different pace than most, but I observed. I watched everything. So when I got here today and saw drones up and more tightened security and everybody doing their job, and after a while nobody's allowed out of the gates in the perimeter. They got to walk all the way. A lot different, more tight security. It was good to see that.